In this video, I'm going to show you how you can use advanced filter with the VBA. Recently, I showed you how to use uh, advanced filter on a worksheet. Recently, I did a job for someone and I found that advanced filter was a good way to get through a large pile of data. For example, this is a piece of data that I keep pulling out and it's got over 9,000 records in it. And let's say you wanted to see during this time period, this data was dumped by another set of software. But let's say you wanted to see how a certain certain salesperson was doing. So the last time we did it, it was for Terry, but let's put um, John in here for the next one. So I'm clicking the button. And so I type in John here. And then I go search. And so automatically, it's gone through my 9,000 records and brought up all the records that John has that was sales for during this period. And there's quite a few of them. And then it's total the sales for, uh, for John for this period. So now let me show you the code. So my code is attached to this user form. Now to see the code that is, is used when you press search, let's double click the search button. The code is up for you. So it starts with private sub on command button click. Now S name is the, the salesperson name and that's what you've entered in the text box. Declaring the data sheet, which is the sheet that I'm getting my, um, my data from. Temp as a worksheet and that would be the data that I'm sending it to. I'm doing end row. Search data as range, search criteria as range, uh, value output as range. Set data sheet equals sheet one. Now I'm copying the name of the criteria to um, a spot on my data sheet. And I'm doing that just because um, you would probably be dumping data all the time and we want to use this code again. Uh, in this workbook, what we're going to do is we're going to add a new worksheet and we're going to call it temp. We're, we want only take the ranges uh, F and through H, F, G, and H values, and we're going to put it on our new worksheet, and we're going to put it in A, B, and C destination. And so data sheet, which is where our data is, D2 value equals S name. So we're putting that in the field that we have put our criteria name on top of. Search data is the workbook sheets one range E, which is whatever data that it's around your E2, so current region. The search criteria is the worksheet sheet one range N1, which is whatever is in, which is ever attached to the current region, which is our, our criteria of selection. Value output is, then we're gonna put all this data on our temp sheet and we're gonna put it uh, in A1. Now this is the actual filter part of it. So we say set or search data, advanced filter, X filter copy, search criteria, and value output. We uh, activate our new temporary sheet. We figure out what the end row is. And then we do a total, which is uh, by application sum, and we do worksheet range two because we have headers and down to the end row because we've determined the end row here. Then we put the name of the person that we are um, that we're doing totals for, and then we're putting putting a title. And we say total sales, and then we put um, sales total in the in the value below it. Then I use worksheet sheet use range columns auto fit, and that's just to make sure our data fits. I will of course include the code in the description of my video. Please subscribe.